This is the inside of a courtroom. The decisions made inside this room have the ability to dramatically impact the lives of real people. How much time are you going to have with your children every week? How are your assets going to be divided? Will you have to pay spousal support? These are just a few of the questions that get answered inside this room. Believe it or not, many lawyers have never been inside these walls. They have never argued for a client or stood up for what is just and right. When you walk through the doors to this courtroom, you need a trial lawyer. The attorneys at Roth Davies take cases to trial and stand up for our clients' rights. Because we're prepared to go to trial and opposing lawyers know this, most of our cases settle before getting on to the most important meal of the day, breakfast. Which will we like better, crunchy pancakes or good old Captain Chew? Crunchy pancake. Hey, 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 what, what you doing? This is my thing. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Look at you, that. You gotta have something. <laughs> <laughs> Get at it, man. Right there. Okay. Uh, here's a spoon. Mix it in. Oh my gosh. It, lo it looks like mac and cheese. You know, that's what I would think it was. Dink it and sink it. It's a sad, sad morning. Oh, it's not that bad. Now, well, it doesn't taste bad. You have specifically, I have heard you specifically complain about Captain Crunch hurting the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Did that hurt the roof of your mouth? Well, you know, right. You're right, it is safe. <clears throat> it's the safest Captain Crunch experience I've ever had. Mm -hmm. But it's just okay, it's not great. Crunchy pancakes? How, oh my gosh, it's, it's all together. It's so, um, is that butter? Uh, yeah, it's actually butter that's been uh, dehydrated in maltodextrin, and then that's actually maple syrup that has just been reduced down to its hard candy form. Oh, I like that stuff. The Canadians just eat it straight. Oh yeah, they do a lot of stuff up there. Yeah. But they're nice about it, so they get away with it. Did you mean to make this syrup look like the Eastern Seaboard? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you can see the Chesapeake. It's a little Florida down there. Okay, I'm gonna put my dehydrated butter back on there. Now, Dink it. again, I don't wanna break a tooth. Oh. Oh, wow. There's just something about crunchy stuff that you immediately just make it candy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a Stroop waffle. Mm hmm. Like you can have like a crunchy Stroop waffle. This is in the Stroop waffle family. It's like an American version of it. I bet you this thing can go quite a distance too. You got to pull that off first. Why wouldn't it go a distance with that on it? Well, it'd be heavier, maybe. Yeah. There, there's, there's something fun. There's something fun to this. Did somebody lose an ear? Oh, what did I hit? Microphone. I hit a microphone. <laughs> Hopefully it was on. <laughs> so uh, we're voting for the pancakes because it's just it's just plain fun. It's good. This could work. A little bit of danger goes a long way. Yeah, you might cut yourself, but I think it's much better than this boring stuff. Well, Did you agree? 69% of Mythical Beasts <laughs> thought that you'd like crunchy pancakes better. Yep, yep. You guys are back on track. Yeah, you are. Two you, out of three. You might win a prize. I can remember being four years old and it was just part of my routine. Hi. That's a hard question because I feel like what memory of my childhood was Mr. Pickles not a part of? Everyone has a little tune in their heart. And if you listen closely, it always finds a way out. He was always my North Star during those days of just slamming apple juice and not knowing how to read. When I think of and finally, we have some crunchy shrimp cocktail with crunchy cocktail sauce mm. versus one of the crunchiest fruits ever, vegetables ever, <laughs> celery in its chewy form. I don't even know where to start on this. This is weird. What's the green goo? Uh, so that is actually celery flavored gummy that we've encased the celery in to give it that chewiness. Okay. You wanna start here? Sure. It looks a little more straightforward. It looks like a dead green bean. And it's... then how did you get it to be chewy? You just... So we par cooked it and then we uh, dehydrated it to kind of draw some of that moisture out but keep the fibrousness. You're dripping. You like celery? Um, Without peanut butter on it? And some dipping it in something. Oh gosh. Uh-uh. Oh. Uh-uh. I don't quite like this. It's a little sweet. 
Yeah, a little bit. Um, but then it's mostly just celery e. It actually takes the celery edge off a teeny bit. You think a cel celery's got a lot of edge? Yeah. <laughs> celery is one of the edgiest fruits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? It could be worse. Because as a person who doesn't like the taste of celery, wouldn't you say it's better than regular celery? Or I agree. You, yeah, see, there you go. It made it better. It, it feels like a candy in like Tokyo or something. Whoa! And this is dried shrimps. Uh, so it's actually been uh, fried and then dried and then refried. Fried, fried and dried, dried and, and refried. Uh, I needed that today, thank you. And, uh, they're meant to be eaten whole. Because it's all crunchy, you might as well eat the tail. Exactly. Now how do you, oh the dip. And then you're gonna wanna uh, mix the Pop Rocks into the cocktail sauce oh, with your shrimps. Pop Rocks? With the what? With the uh, shrimps. Just, just, yeah. Ooh! Yeah, there you go. Look at that. You hear that? It's an experience. You hear that? Wow, this is something that... Did you know that was going to happen? No. He said he needed to mix it. Oh, I like it when my food talks back to me. And... <laughs> I feel like I might be dealing with this for a while. Yeah. Like tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... It'll still be in your mouth, you Something mean? in the throat. Yeah. Like a shrimp shard. Well, I'll tell you, Josh, this is a cup full of fun, <laughs> but it's a mouthful of nasty. Uh, you know, you, know, you know, really flip the script once you try to eat it. I'm not going to vote for this. What do you say, sailor? I've sailed many a, many a sea. <laughs> but I'm pulling into a celery harbor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, do you get the haiku or the loser potato? 78% of mythical beasts thought that you'd like the crunchy shrimp cocktail better. <laughs> yeah, it's, Losers! Just, it's just not that good. <laughs> this is a fun, fun little outing. Go to our Instagram where you can see yourself and you're represented as a loser potato. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Comment on that. You deserve it. Great job, guys. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Diego. I'm from Yucatan, Mexico, and this is my first time eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And it's them spin the wheel of mythicality. Mmm. It's <laughs> like, you were right. It I'm is good. I'm glad we were here for such a monumentous occasion. Click the top link to watch us figure out which chip has the most satisfying crunch in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Why complicate things? Just head to mythical.com and buy the Mythical Minimalist set. Today we'll be making a simple scarf to teach you the basics of knitting. How to cast on, how to knit, and how to bind off. You'll need yarn, knitting needles, and scissors. We're using a medium weight yarn and standard size 9 single point needles. We'll begin by creating a slip knot to attach the yarn to the needle. Make a twisted loop, like this, and then pull the yarn through. Is sweet food spicy better than spicy food sweet? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Our new novel, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, comes out October 29th. Yes. But today, one month in advance, we are launching an amazing giveaway to celebrate what the book has in store for you. What? Not one, but two lucky winners, each with guests, will be treated to an all expenses paid trip to Los Angeles to join us and the mythical crew for a good old fashioned pig picking, just like we do back in North Carolina. Yes! The giveaway runs today, 3rd November 2nd, and all you need to do to enter is pre-order the book and submit your proof of purchase through our simple form at bleakcreek.com. Now, multiple entries for multiple books are allowed, and a ticket to the Bleak Creek Conversation shows or any previous pre-order counts as proof of purchase, so you can submit that too. Void where prohibited. No purchase necessary to enter. Full rules are on the website. Thanks, and we hope mm. to see you around a pig. 
Yeah, that's going to be fun. All right. Today's episode is all about tongues. But before we get to that, let's take a moment to acknowledge Rhett's beard. I acknowledge your beard. Thank you. All right, now back to tongues. Your body's natural flavor flicker. Telling your brain what's right and wrong in this crazy, mixed up, taste filled world is how you've come to think of candy as sweet, yeah. habaneros as spicy, and pig anus as a little salty. But what if we took some well known foods and swapped the sweet with spicy and verse vicey? Will our fleshy food figure out or flip out, or will we bring a brand new culinary delight into this world? It's time for sweet food spicy versus spicy food sweet. Which is better? Won't know till we eat. A few weeks ago, we posted a series of sweet spicy food versus spicy sweet food matchups, and you voted on which you thought we would like better. And now we're gonna find out if you were right. And the prize or punishment at stake is for you. You're gonna get a point for each round the majority of you guessed correctly. And if you get three or more points, we'll give you personal shout outs to as many of you as possible in Good Mythical More. Mm -hmm. But if you don't get three right, we're going to post a photo of us holding a loser potato to our Instagram. And every one of you must post a sad face emoji on that potato because you need to be identified as a loser potato that you are. College is a time of cheap eats, wild, unabashed experimentation. Oh, and education. So in the name of learning, let's mix up the iconic college food, spicy ramen, with Link's favorite cereal, Frosted Mini Wheats. Yeah, and are we gonna come out on the other side of this, me not liking ramen or Frosted Mini Wheats? Ah, uh, well, no, Dang. you just might not like sweet ones and spicy ones. Okay, <laughs> so Josh, how did you make this sweet ramen sweet? So the sweet ramen is simply uh, boiled in Swiss Miss hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's step right two? Right your dorm microwave. <laughs> yeah, some things, some things step don't have enjoy. to be overcomplicated. I don't want to get too much of this off so, of That's it. a nice reminder. I want it to be kind of dripping when it, right when it goes now, in my now mouth. Now, when you eat the ramen, don't you use a spoon, brother? No. I use the bowl. That's not pleasant. Yeah, it is. <laughs> There's chocolate with noodles in it. No, you eating it's not oh. pleasant. <laughs> but that's nothing new. Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's just, and it get, as it gets colder, not, I mean, the seasons. As it gets into winter, remember this. Uh, it's amazing how Whoa. there's nothing about the noodles that takes away from the chocolate good goodness. You know what I'm it saying? It adds more. Noodles are a canvas. And life is the paint, man. Well, the, in this case, the chocolate's the paint. But, uh, all, right, all right, let's have some... This is uh, not going to be good. I don't, spicy mini wheats. That is correct. So How'd you make them spicy? Just a simple uh, fiery cayenne glaze. So pretty similar to how they do it. Pour. Just with a little extra. Well, I'm just going to pour in this one because we might need to use this for the thumbnail. All right, so pour this. That's some thick milk. Is that yogurt? No, <laughs> no. just thick did milk. Did you shake it? Where's your spoon? Oh, uh, this is your spoon. Yeah, you, now you gotta. Yeah. <laughs> I got the, the, the spoon was never intended for this. Have you watched people eat ramen before? Yeah, they use a spoon. No, that's like I think that's when you're like in an Italian restaurant <laughs> with the, with the pasta. I eat my, yeah, that's where I eat my ramen. Okay, I think you just proved yourself wrong. That is right. some thick milk, homie. All right, I'm gonna get two of these. Yeah, I usually eat two, and what I'll do is... This is kefir, right? They'll be... This is not milk. <laughs> I don't know. Dig it. What? Now you're gonna eat it the link way. Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna eat it the ah, right way. Hey, hey, no, no, eat it the link way. You put the sugar up, and then you turn it over in your mouth onto your tongue. Which does absolutely nothing to change the taste that's in your mouth. It's happening. Frosted mini wheats is being ruined for me. I wouldn't say that this is bad, but I would, and I don't really like spicy things. But, but hold on, I don't know if I needed that level of spice added to that type of experience. Hold on, though. I'm I held on for a while. Yeah, there's no chance. It needs it, sucks. it needs something sweet. Now we got to see what the fans thought. So we are saying that the um, that the sweet ramen was amazing. Definitely but better. Did you agree? Did you predict? Well, it turns out that 62% of the mythical beasts thought you would like the sweet ramen better. Ah, you know it so well. Actually, 62 seems low for this choice. I'm very surprised that... The, the... Well, they know I like the spicy stuff. I mean, it's like, I, I think, you know, you never know. You never you... know until you try. That's why we're trying. I'm not disappointed. 
All right, let's scramble up 7-Eleven because we're flipping spicy pepper jack cheese and sweet, sweet Slurpees. Okay, so Somehow. on this side, we've got the, the cheese that is no longer pepper jack cheese. What kind of cheese is it? Well, I'd call it jelly bean jack. It's sweet jack cheese. Uh, instead of you know red and green jalapenos, we got red and green jelly beans. This is a stretch. This looks Christmas cheese. That's the music video we'll come out Christmas with this year. Christmas cheese, <laughs> does it Christmas please? Christmas cheese, it does Christmas please.